visiting during the holidays. Next up is our Cornish Boy State Governor, Anish Amen. Governor Amen was elected as the 2023 Governor of Boy States by his peers. And Anish hails from Omaha and will be graduating from Little North High School this year. Here to talk about his Boy State experience. Let's welcome Governor Amen. I'd like to thank the American Legion for their hospitality and the honor to speak at such a prestigious conference. Um, it's truly an honor to be in the midst of patriots like yourselves, and you guys motivate me to instill patriotism wherever I go um, in the future. Uh, whenever someone asks me about what Boy State was like, I like to refer to it as the best week of my life. And I don't put it lightly when I mean that. Simply put, Boy State is a testament to the values that make our nation great. Tolerance, acceptance, and the willingness to listen to diverse opinions. Boy State taught me the importance of unity and diversity. Because of the fact that many of these boys were coming from all across Nebraska, I was able to understand their opinions and their perspectives. I come from Omaha, Nebraska, but my first interaction there was with my roommate, who was a boy from Humphrey, Nebraska, a town of only 800 citizens. As we continue to talk on that first night, I understood that our differences were what shaped us. Our different upbringings and roles shaped our political beliefs. But although we tended to disagree on certain issues, we still found that equal ground, that we wanted our great state of Nebraska and our great country of the United States to prosper. These different roles may have led to occasional disagreements, but in the end, we agreed on that central value. It became clear that fully understanding opposing viewpoints required speaking to as many people as possible. So I immersed myself in conversations from boys all across the state. I made an effort to speak to virtually anyone, which was difficult considering there were about 300 boys there. But I tried my hardest, and because of this, I learned so much. Going into Boy State, I knew I wanted to run for governor. But it wasn't because I wanted to push my own agenda further. It wasn't about winning debates, but instead it was about creating an environment where every voice was truly heard. Um, and along with this, it was about recognizing that in the diversity of opinions lies the democracy of our country. So as I ran, I incorporated many of the concerns that I heard from a lot of these boys. Coming from rural areas, a lot of their concerns were about agricultural issues. So with this in my party platform, I allowed for there to be a lot of different legislation pieces to improve upon agricultural issues. With this, using these group efforts, we were able to pass numerous pieces of bipartisan mock legislation building on the infrastructure necessary for rural communities. These are issues that I was simply unaware of, living in the comfort of Omaha, Nebraska. But hearing from the perspectives of boys all across the state, I was able to fully understand what they were going through. As I stood for election, I didn't just see opponents. I saw fellow citizens with their dreams for a better Nebraska and a better United States. And I created a safe space where ideas were flourished. And that's exactly what Boy State was all about. I learned so much about rural communities during that week that simply this understanding would not be possible without from us for Boy State. In today's world, the lack of hearing, the lack of willingness to hear other opinions is honestly very frightening. Whenever we hear something we don't like, we exile them, cancel them, and just push them aside. But instead, Boy State shaped my leadership. It affirmed that effective leadership isn't, imp isn't about imposing my own view or someone else's view. It's about listening, understanding, integrating various perspectives to make sure that everyone feels heard. This fosters collaboration and makes sure everyone feels truly valued. Cornusco Boy State is honestly a beacon of inspiration to me. It was in June and it continues to be now. It reminds us that regardless of our political affiliations, we are united under the red, white, and blue. That is, that is the banner of our freedom. Our strength lies in not only our military might and our economic prowess, but in our ability to come together and foster inclusivity. Thank you again for this opportunity in Boy State, and I am eternally grateful for the American Legion for putting together this program. Uh -huh. 